Nico Williams made history in the summer transfer window. After an exemplary campaign at Euro 2024, the striker has been strongly linked with a move to Barcelona. The Catalans even identified Nico as a top target in the attacking department. But after months of negotiations, Barca failed to convince Nico or Athletic Club to sanction the move. This led to a lot of resentment among Barcelona fans, many of whom believed that it was Nico and his agent who held up the deal. However, sport has a different story. It seems that Nico Williams has indeed given his approval to join Barcelona, with the player himself expressing his desire to move to Catalonia as early as the summer. The 21-year-old striker personally communicated his decision to Barcelona president Joan Laporta, marking the first step in what should have been a high-profile transfer. Nico Williams wanted to join Barcelona in the summer. The Spanish international, alongside Barcelona's rising star Lamine Yamal, formed a deadly partnership during the Euro 2024 campaign, which only further increased Barca's interest. What stopped Barcelona? The move, however, was hampered by Barcelona's ongoing financial difficulties. The club had to deal with La Liga's strict financial fair play regulations, which made it impossible to meet Nico's release clause of over 60 million euros. The clause could not be paid in installments, forcing Barca to explore alternative solutions. The club pinned its hopes on finalizing a lucrative new deal with Nike, or selling key players like Ronald Araujo or Frankie de Jong to raise the necessary funds. But both options failed because potential sponsors delayed, and the players themselves expressed their desire to stay at the club. Ultimately, Barcelona switched their focus to Danny Olmo, sealing his transfer from RB Leipzig. It seems that the athletic club president wasn't the only one who wanted to see Nico Williams at home, but La Liga president Javier Tebas. He has given several interviews boasting that Barcelona didn't have the money to sign Nico Williams and that the best decision was for Nico to remain at Athletic Club. Barcelona don't have the money to sign Nico. I really like the attitude of these players, Nico Williams and Martin Zubamendi, because it shows belonging to a club, and feeling for a club is also very important, said La Liga president Javier Tebas at the Thinking Football Summit, when asked about Williams's and Zubamendi's rejection to Barcelona and Liverpool respectively. But it also demonstrates the economic strength of our clubs, who are able to keep top players in their teams and fight off the big offers that come their way. Sometimes it's not just the money that a player values, but also the city, the stay, the atmosphere, the family. In Spain, life is very good, and there are many players who want to play in Spain, even though they earn less, he concluded. However, Sport denied the claim that Nico Williams rejected Barcelona. They confirmed that Nico Williams approved his transfer, but it was the financial restrictions of Barcelona's fair play regulations that prevented Nico Williams from joining Barcelona this summer. Javier Tebas, being a Real Madrid fan, certainly had no intention of facilitating the financial fair play process for Barcelona, as he foresaw the danger of pitting Nico Williams, Lamina Yamal, and their teammates against the likes of Mbappe, Vinicius Jr., and their teammates, creating a headache for Real Madrid. Mbappe's Real Madrid now rely heavily on favoritism in a series of penalty shootouts to win games. They would find it difficult to cope with an opponent as formidable as the duo of Nico Williams and Lamina Yamal. Real Madrid needed two penalties to beat Real Sociedad 2-0 on their return to La Liga on the weekend. Los Blancos were very lucky to win, as the Basque side hit the post three times and failed to put the ball in the net. But one moment that generated a lot of controversy was the way Real Madrid were awarded the second penalty, which was scored by Kylian Mbappe. Vinny Jr. was awarded the penalty for falling on the pitch after the slightest of touches from a Sociedad player. Some Barcelona fans noted the hypocrisy of La Liga refereeing with this. That's because a similar foul was also made by Thibaut Courtois on a Real Betis player before the international break. But Betis didn't get a penalty, allowing Real Madrid to snatch an easy victory late on. Coolers on X, Twitter, criticized La Liga for biased refereeing in Real Madrid matches, and here are some comments. Can someone explain to me the criteria for penalties? If there's a stomp, is it or isn't it, or does it change depending on what shirt you have? CC Falcon, it's only a penalty if it's committed against Madrid. Besides, they no longer had the ball. Aider, so why the hell is one a criminal offense and the other not, when they're very similar actions? It doesn't make any sense. Daniel Myers, it's surreal, huh? Juan Lu was sent off earlier for the same penalty that was given to Vinicius the day before, and now this LOL. They never come out even remotely disadvantaged. One color on Twitter even decided to post a compilation of photos showing similar moments Barca players have been denied penalties this season for a similar challenge that Vinny suffered. Well, it looks like Florentino Perez's influence is running wild. Four penalties in five games for Real Madrid. But there will still be weekly videos of the referees coming from Real Madrid TV. Shouts reporter Jose Alvarez. It's laughable. If Barca wants to win the league, they'll have to fight against a lot of factors, adds the reporter. Las Palmas striker Oliver McBurney made comments about Los Blancos getting easy penalties. The striker was asked why that penalty was given in the game against Las Palmas, and McBurney simply replied, It's Real Madrid. Barcelona fans found this comment hilariously true, as they reacted on X. Laughs. They control the league. 
Why yes, and they're not even trying to be discreet about it anymore. Harrison, corruption at its peak. RJ32, bro is playing in La Liga for the first time and already knows how things work around here. Barcelona should be wary of the possible implications of this wave of biased penalty decisions in favor of Real Madrid, as this could further complicate their journey in the future. They should consider appealing these erroneous decisions. Even if nothing happens, it will certainly put pressure on the refereeing team at Madrid games before they favor penalties to Los Blancos. The 22-year-old says he won't rule out the possibility of leaving Bilbao in the future, stressing that he's only committed to staying at the club for one more season. Therefore, Nico Williams' arrival at Barcelona is only a matter of time. Consequently, with the improvement in the club's finances, which will probably happen soon with the ongoing agreement with Nike, Barcelona will sign Nico Williams next season. Having Erling Holland against Kylian Mbappe in La Liga, I hope Holland can make it, David Villa told the media. I don't think they'll become what Messi and Cristiano were, but it would be nice, added the former Barcelona, Valencia, and Atletico Madrid striker. Barca are reportedly considering going after the superstar striker in the coming years, having contacted his agent. Halen's current deal with Manchester City expires in 2027. The 24-year-old started the Premier League season by scoring nine goals in just four games. Holland is a goal machine and could help Barcelona in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for more news from Barcelona. Watch this video!